Okay, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Witch Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Uh, last couple of videos, I've been doing a lot on the 235.1. As I said before, we will be building, we'll have a kit that will include a free frame. The frame will be uh, cut to a 235.1. We'll have them in several sizes. Please look at the list below to see the availability of the sizes we will have in these 235.1 uh, frames. Now, it will come with a uh, blackout cloth surface that is stretchable. Um, also, too, um, it is weatherproof and mold and mildew resistant, and it will either come with two quarts or three quarts of the Immerse 4K uh, screen paint. Uh, now, this right here is a smaller version of the screen itself. Um, I have a much larger one downstairs, which I am about to coat, and I'm going to show you guys how I paint the screen. Very easy to use our screen paint. Very, very easy. If you can paint a wall, as I said before, you can paint a screen. Now, keep in mind, I've had some people try to mimic our demonstrations. I don't mind, it doesn't bother me. But what you have to understand is you can't do this same demonstration on a 16.9. And I make that clear to other people that are thinking that if you get one of these uh, 235.1 screens, you can use this on your projector. You can't. It has to be used on a projector that has 235.1 or 239.1 uh, widescreen panorama or anamorphic. It has to have that kind of capability. If not, it's going to come out looking kind of crappy. I mean, really crappy. Either the heads are going to be missing or the bottom half, something's going to be missing, but it's just not going to fit the format of that screen. So you have to have a 235.1 projector in order to execute this. All right, so uh, first thing first, let's uh, show you the projector. I had to go back and repost something on my old demonstration, actually a demonstration I posted earlier today, a late de not late, but a later demonstration that I've done. I have to post the projector right there. So there is a projector right there. This is a ViewSonic DLP projector. Uh, short throw at 3200 lumens. Um, the peg, as I said before, the projector is DLP. So basically this is just to show you in this demonstration what 235 looks like. Um, on a widescreen format. And as you notice how the screen is designed, it's a shorter height, but it's a longer width. And this is how it's designed um, all together. Now, let me show you the video that we're gonna be doing because the only videos you can do in this particular on this particular format have to be 235.1. As you can see, my list of videos I have here of 235.1 right there, okay? So you have to have that because if you do this in 16.9, it doesn't achieve the picture quality at all. It doesn't achieve the format at all. Now, like I said, this the projector has this capability. I'm going to hit the menu. We are already in my um, uh, the aspect ratio. You'll see right there. And then we'll scroll over and you'll see it's set to 235.1. Now, the not all projectors can do this. I'm going to keep that in mind. Only particular certain ones and some ones I've seen so far were very expensive. Even to get an anamorphic lens would cost you at least two to three thousand dollars. Very expensive. But for some reason, interesting, when I purchased the ViewSonic, this particular projector, I put the model number and all the information you need. Um, it had 235.1 and it had anamorphic already installed in, in, in the projector, which I thought was freaking amazing. All right, so and out of the bad price, I paid about five hundred and thirty dollars for the projector. This one is um, this is about a, I'm doing this in about seven twenty p because, like I said, I'm going to be streaming this off my my Chromecast. But like I said, very interesting uh, projector. All right, so let's begin right here first. Now, mind you, I haven't had a chance to uh, size this screen uh, correctly to the projector. Uh, this was just a test screen showing off how easy it was to paint or screen paint. Uh, downstairs, I have a much larger screen, which we are going to paint. And I'm just giving you an idea in your head exactly what 235.1 looks like. And it's just a really cool look to it. Gaming on this is insane. This is going to be a really short video. Oh, 
Okay, this is to give you an idea. Now, we are going to go downstairs to the basement area. That's a giant screen I gotta finish right there for a customer. So we're gonna go downstairs to the basement. And we are going to look at, uh, um, we're going to look at uh, uh, the screen we have down here. Now this is a screen I just built a few minutes ago. Actually, I showed you guys the frame first so you can see what it looks like on the frame. You can see the way it's built. This is a 105 inch 235.1 uh, screen. We have, now mind, you're going to see my jacked up socks. My socks are pretty jacked up. I'm going to put the camera right here just for a minute and you get the top off this for a minute. Okay, there we go. All right, now I'm going to show you this really quick. Sorry about that. I'm going to be taking a little paint right here. This is a paint that comes with the kit. Like I said, we have it and um, we have it in uh, uh, two quarts and we have it in um, three quart kits. All right, there's my roller. You have some people saying that you have to have a foam roller. Truthfully, I would not use a foam roller and I'll tell you why. Because a foam roller uh, will leave streaks in your screen and it will miserably will leave streaks in your screen so this is how easy it is to paint the screen it's very easy to do very very easy to paint the screen sorry for a minute just remove it really quick so it's very easy to paint the screen if you have any residue or anything because I had I didn't clean this this uh, I should have cleaned off the um, the surface a little better but I didn't do it at all so me rushing to get work done. All right, so here we are. Rolling this in. This is it. This is it. This is how easy it is. If some people get overwhelmed, and I think the reason why they get so overwhelmed is because you have people that will come on YouTube and they'll do demonstrations on their product, and they'll make it sound so freaking complicated. Like seriously, like you literally would have to be a rocket scientist in order to install on the screen, but you don't. Very easy to do. Mind you, I'm rolling this with one hand. I'm doing this with one hand. So I just go all the way around right there. That's it. Doesn't make a difference. If you roll this this way or this way, it doesn't really make a difference. But I don't like to use a foam roller because like I said, a foam roller will streak the daylights out of your screen. It just will. I don't use them. I don't use them. I don't like them. I used to use them when I was doing demonstrations on glass. Um, when I was doing uh, uh, rear projection screens. That's how it's me pouring it on. That's it. This area over here. Let me show you how easy it is to paint the screen in. Very easy to do. real quick. Okay. Very easy to do. We are working on also too a a interesting paint that we're going to be using for um, coating uh, stucco and other rough areas that you might want to apply our screen paint on. There we go. So the screen you saw upstairs, so for a minute, camera straps in the way. The screen you saw upstairs is the exact same uh, screen paint we're using right now. And the exact same surface that you will get with your kit. Now when you're painting in your kit, this is all you would have to do. Stretch it over the surface, stretch it over the frame, that mind you, you get for free and the surface that you get for free and just stretch it over top your your screen your frame and you're done that's it go oh. should have did a better job on cleaning my my surface a little better remember my basement's really dirty from time to time and uh I have to keep it sometimes I get lint and stuff like I land on my screen but 
Like I said, I was supposed to clean it, dust it off before I applied it. Just been very, very busy. All right, look at that. So far, so good. Look at that. Amazing. And you have some people tell you that you have to go up and down and the robot formation. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't have to. You don't have to go up and down the robot formation. I think I need more little paint on my roller. Tell me the size a little better here. My, I'm doing this one hand. I'm painting in a hundred and 105 inch widescreen panorama screen with one hand. There we go. Get a little more paint. That's it. Put it down there like so. Grab my roller. That's it. I mean, seriously, so easy. Literally, your kids could paint the screen in for you. You can have your kids come downstairs with some paint gear on them. Say, so here, paint my screen. And it'll be that easy. All right, now later on, when this dries, this is the reason why you want to subscribe, uh, we will show, I will show off, we, I'm the only one here. Uh, we will, sh I will show off um, the screen on the projector. And that'll be the next video coming up. Won't be today because I have a lot to do today. But it will happen. You will see it. All right. So there we are. Screen's already painted. It's done. There's my 235.1 Immerse 4K Cinema. Mind you, um, all I had to do was basically stretch over the surface, stretch the material of the surface. Very easy to do. And this is will be the size of the surface for 105 inch. Once that's done, what you do is just take your screen paint, pour it on the screen, doesn't make a difference. You wrote this way, you wrote that way, you wrote that way. It doesn't make a difference. It's still going to come out looking fantastic. Can't wait to do some gaming off this. This is going to be my personal gaming screen. I'm going to be ordering me another one of those projectors because I need one for upstairs and I need one for downstairs. There we go. Just make sure we got everything smoothed out. There we go. Okay. I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed the demonstration. I'm going to clean up here a bit. Just want to add real quick, the screen paint is low VOC, eco-friendly, and washes off with hot water and soap. That makes it fantastic. Right there. Also, too, it's low odor. So you notice I don't have to wear a mask when I'm down here. Hope you enjoyed the demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching.